Good morning, my hub. I am back with another video. If y'all read the title, y'all know what I'm gonna do. Let me grab my blow dryer. I'm gonna set it on. It's clearly over from here. I just decided to vlog today. Just because. And I am going to do my natural hair and give y'all 21 questions about me. I'm gonna put some on. I just got a shower, I washed my hair. Um, currently, it's conditioner sitting in it. I'm going to wash it out. I was just letting it, you know, marinate. I'm going to wash it out, and then I'm going to go ahead and get into these questions with y'all. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. And now that I was ready to vlog again, because it has been a little while since we vlogged, I went for the camera, and the camera is broke. It's not working correctly, so. I am currently recording on my phone. So that just means I'm motivated. <laughs> um, I didn't want, since we went to um, Miami and I had some red soft locks. Some soft, soft locks, I think that's what they call goddess locks. No, real, real long ones. I had cut them out when we got home. Once they got old, y'all, I cut out a whole braid. Right here. It was a whole braid, cut the whole thing. I don't know if y'all can see it. This is like right here. Sign it through the little piece in the garbage. It's right here. Crazy, right? Okay, so with the 21 questions, the first question was your name. So my name is Dario. Tommy. Dari for short. The second question was what's my sign? I am a a lucky Capricorn. Okay. My birthday is January 8th, 1991. I am 30 years old. I made 30 this year, 2021. Three fears, um, probably spiders, being broke, uh, spiders being broke, and heights. Very easy. Three things that I love, Carter, me, and my life. My phone. You say my life. Everything is included. I love my life. I love Carter. I love myself. I love my phone. Um. Okay. I so look. I'm gonna just. I'm parting this so I can put some wild grow. In the middle and down the sides because I don't care about the hairstyle. I more so care about the healthiness of my hair, so. I don't know, I'll go to Chicago or something, and I, if I don't got my head in, then I'm gonna go to like the Egyptians or something. Ooh, too much. I cut a huge hole in this body. I look at it. Okay, so that's good, then I'm gonna brush it in. Everything here. Cause y'all be. Well, I don't know what y'all be doing, but I ain't gonna be about it. I need them wigs. I need some sewing. Mm -mm. Good luck with them. Lead it up to y'all. Okay, let's see what's the next one. Um. Last song I listened to is, I don't know how to say his name, but I think it's Javon. Maybe, I don't know. G E G give, I don't know. G I G I V E O N. All of me. Or all of you. 
Love the song. It's a beautiful song. It's my song, okay. Yeah, it's the last song I listened to. Go check it out. If y'all have it, it's called I'll Be My Spirit's Man. So, yeah. If I want to sing it right. Um, turn on. My tone is probably a vibe. The vibe that I get when I'm with the person, whoever it is. Or, like, um, turn on. Or, no, it's like to see your style. Like a good vibe, style. It's like a turn on. Good conversation. It didn't ask how many, but it's just a lot of people. Okay, y'all, so I got to half of my head. And if y'all can see, that's what I put. It sucks. Okay, so we're gonna leave off that. Turn on, turn off. Somebody that talk too much, complain too much, ugly shoes, can't dress. <laughs> No type of like, I don't know, personality. Can't keep my interest. I don't know. Those would be my turn ups. Um, how many tattoos? And piercing for you. I honestly have never counted, so I don't know. But I just walk, I go through it with y'all. Um, my first tattoo ever was. Love is. What's this one? On my arm. I got this in my brother at this tattoo shop on Archer in Chicago. My second tattoo was my ex girlfriend name, which I am not gonna disclose. But yeah, on my back, on my shoulder, which I am working on getting a cover up now. I don't know what I want to put over it. And the places that I have been, they be saying like, it's gonna be complicated because the way it's said, and the stuff that I want is not gonna really cover it. So I gotta keep digging into pictures and tattoos and cover ups, because I'm not just getting anything. Um, yes. Yes. My third tattoo, I believe, is the cross here. I don't know these things. Cross. Fourth tattoo, I believe, was my dream catcher on my thigh. I had a scar here, so I had to figure out what I wanted to get over it to get rid of it. It was so ugly when I wore shorts and stuff, so I ended up getting a dream catcher. That was, I think, my fourth tattoo. I got two bowls on the bottom of my back where my dimples are. That is probably my fifth one. I have one, four, three on my side, on my rib cage, kind of like on my side. Yeah. And that's probably my six tattoo. And then I have Carter Amari here, which is my son's name, on my ribs. And that is my seventh tattoo. So I have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 seven. I have one piercing right now, <laughs> but I initially had three. Um, I removed my tongue ring once I got my braces because it was just, I felt like it was just gonna be too much going on in my mouth. And I kind of like passed that stage. I had my tongue pierced since I was 16. I snuck and did it without my mom's consent at a house in Chicago. And I my dad caught with it. My mom was like, I hope the time fall off. You stupid, why are you gonna get it? Then you doing stuff at people's houses, you know what that is, you know what, what it do to you, you know, you know. And I ended up keeping it. And nothing happened and I just got rid of it last year. Which my whole spot is still open, but last year is the last time that I think I wore it. Like if I was to get one of my old time rings and put it in, it would probably work. Oh, yeah. So my hair is greasy because I wanted it to be greasy, y'all. I just wanted it to be straight. But I wanted it greasy because 
it hasn't been um, hydrated and stuff in a while. And this, I greased it with the wild girl, which is supposed to help your hair grow, so. Okay, I'm going to the next step. Let me see. Yeah, I'll see where I cut my hair. I'm going to the next step. Um, so yeah, my piercings I had, and my belly button was pierced as well. Um, but why did my belly button just close? I think my belly ring, my belly button was pierced. I had my belly button pierced for a while too. I can't remember when, how long I was growing when I got it done. I got it pierced twice. I got into a real bad car accident a couple of years ago, like five, six years ago. And they had to do some x-rays and they had to take it out because it was metal and they closed on me. So eventually I had, went back and got it repaired and I had it again for a long time. And just like recently, honestly, a couple months ago, I think I took a shower or something, the ball came out and the whole thing ended up coming out. And when I tried to put it back in, I couldn't. So I just was like, forget it. So I guess I'm just over that stage too. So now I just have my ears pierced currently. I want to get my nose pierced, but I haven't really got took full steps to do that yet. So it just probably take us being at a tattoo parlor, getting my cover up or getting my the tattoo that I want right now. And then being like, okay, I'm going to get my nose pierced. Let's see right here. Let's see what the next question is. Relationship status. Right now, I am currently in a full-blown relationship with my fiance, Simon. Um, we are the Mitchells, as y'all know, if y'all stay tuned. And I am still living for two. Three, including Carter, but still living for two. Um, where did you get your nickname? So, my nickname came from high school grammar school, junior high. I went to our good school from seven to my junior year, sophomore year. And I had friends there, of course. Um, my first like boo, I'll say, first girlfriend gave me the diary name, her name is Amy. And she, um, I don't know, she, I don't even know which how she can with. She just like diary. And then she added the diary baby. Uh, maybe because I was like a baby baby in high school, grammar school, junior high, everybody thought I was a baby. So she really added the diary. She became, I don't know how she shorted my name, Diary up to Dark, but I guess you see how. And then, she, I don't know why she added the baby, probably because I was a baby in high school. Everybody thought I was a baby. I'm a little baby, I'm a little pretty baby, I'm a pretty girl. Um. So yeah, that's how the name Diary came about and it just carried. Like, I don't know. I don't even know how people continue to call me that, like outside of school and stuff. But the name has been carrying on me, carrying, it has been going with me since I was in like seventh grade. And I love it. It's my name, Dirty Daddy, with two eyes. Okay, next one. What is your favorite movie? I think my favorite movie is probably The Notebook. Well, I know my favorite movie is The Notebook and The Bow. But there's so many more that I like now that I have been watching movies with Sina. Because I'm not really a movie person before I met Sina. She's a homebody and a person that likes to lay in bed and eat and watch movies and drink, eat snacks and stuff. So now that's what I do. So I got a lot of my movies that I like. I can't think of them right now. But my favorites would probably be The Bow. And the veil and the notebook okay the next one favorite song i don't have that favorite song right now this is my go-to i don't got a favorite song not right now maybe a couple months ago damage was my shit damage was my song i love damage but right now favorite no Favorite song right now. That's what I like right now. Don't play this Dior. Don't play that. Oh, uh, you know my business. Don't do that. We don't play that. That's probably my favorite song right now. And the last song I listened to that I said that earlier 
I don't want to say it's my favorite, but I do really think it's a beautiful song. I like it. So I always put it. Um, oh, and Jazz and Sullivan Feelings. I actually really like that song. Like, that's probably my go to when I get in the car. I go to my Apple Music and I'm going to play her for sure. And it is the word of her. And Javon, whatever the man's name is. Okay. Um, three things that upset me. Three things that grabs my ears. People trying to tell me what to do, I always got something to say, like to say so over something that I'm doing. I'm gonna do that. Um, um, people not stating facts about me. Like, you know how people talk about you and stuff, and then when you hear the story, it's like, bitch, you could have told the truth. That. I don't know what to call it. You could have told the truth. Like, I'm a factual person. I don't give a fuck what it is. If you say, if you gonna tell the story, say it. Say what I did. Don't lie though. Like, say what I did. Don't make one up. Say what I did. And another thing that probably upsets me traffic. <laughs> traffic. Traffic makes me really mad. That's all I could think of. Okay, what else we got here? Three things that make me happy. <laughs> Carter. No matter what's going on in my life, when Carter comes and he starts talking, no matter what, the baby makes me happy. Well, he's gonna do something to uplift my spirit and make me smile. So, three things gonna be happy Carter. Uh, when my life is like stable and um, I, when I got like everything figured out, like not even like everything figured out because I never have everything figured out, but when I just know like what's my next move, what I'm doing, like it ain't complicated. like. Everything is just kind of like when I, that makes me very happy and relaxed and comfortable. And food. Food makes me very happy. Food, for sure. What do I find attractive in other people? Energy. Um energy people being good people like just having a good conscience or just people people i love people so anybody that's good with good personality good conversation that makes me attracted to you nah you can't be ugly but if you're ugly and you got some good personality and stuff we could be talking we talk we could be cool we could be friends Someone I miss is probably my grandma, for sure. My best friend, Desiree, I miss her officially. My ex-best friend, we fell out. We live in two different places and I don't know where everyone's speaking, but I miss her, I miss our conversations. I miss my granny, she's gone and she's been gone for a while now. But I always miss her, especially when holidays and stuff come up because it's when I spend the most time with her. Um, or when people speak about their grandma, I think about her most. And I miss my mom, who's still, of course, living. She just, she's like really quarantining because of COVID still to this day, and it's March of 2021. So she like, you travel too much, we doing too much, I like, can't come to my house. But we talk on FaceTime, she see her brother be on FaceTime all the time. And that's just how we communicate. So those are my mom. My grand and my ex best friend. So, there's a you watch this, you know. Um, what's the next one? Someone I love. I love Carter. <laughs> but typically, right now, I definitely love Sina. 
I just want to be exact. I love a lot of people, but I love Simon. Um, and I love her because she loves me through it all. They continue ups and downs with me having a child. And I truly, truly, truly appreciate her, her patience. And everything that she brings to the table on a daily basis. And I hope she does the exact same way. Um, favorite holiday? Probably Sweetest Day. If that's even a real holiday, because people say it's not a holiday, for a holiday, but we celebrate it over here. And who will I be with from here on out? I mean, who will I be with? I'm gonna celebrate it with them, because it's my favorite holiday. I like to make other people feel special. So Christmas is too. Thanksgiving because I can cook. So I can always make meals for people. And people can come to my house and enjoy while I can go to their house and, you know, make a dish or two. So anything where I'm giving is probably my favorite holiday. But, you know, Christmas, Valentine's Day, and Sweetest Day. But Sweetest Day is probably my most favorite because I get to show my mate how special they are to me. And get creative and show them some stuff. Get them some stuff. And make them feel good. And if you know, you know. No, no. Okay. I'm gonna put it. Yeah, I got a little box of that. Now y'all think I did. How am I look? It look greasy. It look heavy. Who cares? It is greasy, but I'm gonna add greasy. To the next question, y'all. Yeah. I'm almost done. If y'all still watching, make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all comment. Let me know how y'all feel. Okay, let's see what our last little questions is on these last little pieces. Um, I saw that my favorite holiday. Let's just see this day. Confession. I want to tell you. Confession. I am 30. I'm not going to tell you that. I sleep with every night. His name is SpongeBob. And I love it. Same as they slept on the garbage and she do what that's going to be her life. And I'm seeing it on camera. She may not touch him. He's old. I had him for a long time. My sister recently called me on FaceTime and I think I was in bed. And I was laying on him and she like, you still got that stuff at home. And all I could do is laugh and say, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he's old, but he's my baby. I wash him every blue moon. So he's gonna be dirty and he gonna break my face out. But yeah, he's stuck. He's stuck for life. So that's a confession. I have a teddy bear. It's almost, it's a big teddy bear. So it's like you can lay on it like a pillow. It's like a pillow. So I got that. That's my confession. Yeah, I know something crazy about him. I'm crazy, but. Okay, so, confession. I gave y'all three bad habits. Um, three bad habits. Procrastination. It's a habit. I formed a habit with procrastinating. So, I'm going to do procrastinate. Um, I don't really got no bad habits, though. I used to buy my nails. It's not a bad habit. I always say I'm sorry to people when something happens. Be like, sorry, some people always stop saying it. You always say I'm sorry. Well, you don't gotta say please so much. That's what I'm gonna say. I don't know if that's a habit. I don't know, y'all. I don't really got no habits. So, yeah. Um, and then, last one number of kids you want. I have one, and I think that's all I want. But depending on my mates, if they want another one, then I might rethink, rethink about it. But um, I got one, and that's all I got. Might take another one. Carter might need a sibling. But yeah. Speaking of, this video is finna end because he's here. And he's finna start right on me. You want some appetite? Yeah. Say hey. Say hey. Say hey, y'all. <laughs> okay, let me open his app. So, so, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all get to see me do my natural hair. And I just told y'all. I guess until next time.
Do your smile. I love you, gang. Mama. Carla, love you. And we out.